Hi, I'm Harrison Marsh and today I just wanted to talk about trying to dispel a few myths or three myths about guitar teaching and guitar playing. Uh, the first one is you've probably heard people say it at some point uh, a better guitar doesn't make you a better player and if you give Slash a five pound guitar he would still sound great. Um, I know what these people are meaning because yes, Slash or Jimmy Page or whoever your favourite guitar player is, they're going to sound great whatever you give them. Um, and I'm not sort of giving anyone licence to say that I need a Gibson or I need a very, very expensive guitar. But I definitely think the guitar you start on and, and the guitar you have in the room makes a huge difference uh, to your progression and your learning and how quickly you pick up the guitar or if you uh, progress as a guitar player at all because a really cheap or um, a really bad guitar is just going to be difficult to play. Um, if you've got a guitar with a really high action, so the strings are really, really far away from the, uh, the fretboard and it hurts your, uh, your fingers to play, or if it just doesn't sound very good when you do play it, you're less likely to pick it up uh, when you get home and uh, you're more likely to give up or you're more likely to form the opinion that playing guitar is really difficult. Um, so I think if you've got your heart set on a red guitar or a Les Paul or a Strat or something that looks really cool or if you're buying a guitar for a child or a student, um, the look of the guitar can just make you want to pick it up when you get home and just play around with it. Um, and if you are more likely to pick it up and practice, you're more likely to really get into playing and improve as a player. So that's the first thing. I know budget is always a consideration and we can't afford uh, to, to play. We can't all, all afford to, to buy really, really expensive guitars. Uh, but I definitely urge people, you know, set your budget and then uh, if you've got to buy something secondhand, definitely buy the guitar that you think is cool. Um, because you're more likely to get into playing guitar because of that. The second uh, myth that I hear a lot uh, is about being born musical. Um, these people that say, I, I've always wanted to play guitar, but I'm not musical or I don't have an ear for pitch or I, I'm not very good at rhythm or, uh, you know, people in my family aren't musical. Um, I think the only advantage that anyone has being born into a musical family where, uh, you know, your dad plays guitar and your mother plays piano is you have music uh, live or, or just the CD uh, player. You have music played to you from a very uh, young age and, and you're surrounded by music. But I, I really don't believe that anybody is born uh, more musical than anybody else. So if you want to get into playing any instrument or playing any music, you're never too old to start learning um, and pick up an instrument and try and find your local like really good guitar teacher. Um, and just get into it. And I really don't believe that anybody is any more musical than anybody else. It's just about practice and work. So the third uh, myth that I hear a lot um, is essentially that one type of learning is better than another. So you hear lots of people saying that um, they're self-taught because they had a guitar teacher once and he wasn't very good or nowadays we've got the internet and we've got YouTube and we've got video so you don't need a guitar teacher um, and at the other end of the scale they must be really great because they're paying a huge amount of money for a guitar teacher that's that's famous or something um, and I think it takes quite a while to to work out the best route of learning that suits you so I think lots and lots of my students uh, outside of their lessons with me are watching YouTube videos or they've got various apps that that help with their playing and that's great I encourage that I think that runs alongside lessons really really well and I think I had such a great guitar teacher when I was learning to play um, that I wouldn't be a full-time guitarist now if I hadn't had lessons with such a great teacher uh, but I had a few guitar teachers before that that weren't great and I uh, I gave up and went self-taught for a time. Um, and a guitar teacher can't uh, make you practice. So there should be lots of things that you're discovering and reading and listening to outside lessons. So I think YouTube videos, a lot of them are great. I think um, I own lots and lots of guitar books and I'm always reading about guitar and that can be really, really useful. But I certainly don't think that uh, one method of learning is better than the other. 
Uh, you hear lots of people saying that they really want to play guitar because they're into blues music and they listen to a lot of electric guitar, so they want to start with classical. Um, and I don't really understand that either. If you really want to play classical guitar, great. It, it's a, a really, really fun thing to play. Um, but if you're dreaming of being an electric guitar player, buy yourself an electric guitar and start there. There's a perfectly uh, sensible uh, beginner's course in electric guitar and exams with L LCM from grade one in electric guitar. You don't have to start on a classical guitar at all. So I hope I've helped dispel those three myths. I hope that's useful. Um, and if there are any questions about that, please leave them in the comments below and uh, look out for any more videos we do.